Oh, yeah, really? yeah, you know what it is, y'all. You know it? what it is. What is it? We are Savage AF what right here. It? Marcus King presents comedy in your face, y'all. Marcus I King. I am Black Pedro. Yo, what's up? This is Shang. And I want to send a big shout out to Marcus King. And I, and I wanted his aunt to know that I appreciated all the back rubs that she gave me. <laughs> this is Savage AF, yeah, uh, the show that good. gets gets very personal right off very the bat. Per- right off the bat. Uh, we talk politics, oh, I got current events. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so we, it, I got it. We talk what? politics, current events. <laughs> no, well, why are you making me look like I can? Our suck number one slogan. Our number one slogan is "fuck your feelings." Fuck your feelings. Like, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Turn the mic. Why? You, but you did it. You might as well just was, speak out loud to him. At wait, this look, because the, the show looks that's crazy. Running the show. The grab the mic and then say, "Can you do this?" I'm not doing that. That's your. That's your shit. That ain't my shit. I ain't, there, there I ain't never grabbing the mic like that. And I've been holding the mic for years. I don't, I don't care how so if okay. you guys are just tuning That's, in and you're probably wondering, what the fuck is hey. going on, guys? I'm a, it's because our show is savage. We're savage as fuck, right? Okay, right? So sorry. we don't give a shit. We don't always have our shit together. No, we're shit together. Our, I said we don't always have our shit together. Because yeah. we obviously don't have our shit together right now. Yeah. But our number one slogan here at Savage as Fuck is... Fuck your feelings. Fuck your feelings. So, yeah, right. You got shit to say about what's going on right now? We don't really give a fuck. All yeah, right? I mean, you, yeah. You, and, We're and, here to talk shit in your face. And we don't care about little yogurty ass people. People that act yogurty, mm-hmm. little yogurty. All you little, Chobani's out there. Yeah, all you yogurty ass yogurt, uh-huh, niggas. Uh-huh, you little Dannons. So we, we, we remember you Dannon yeah. ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Dannon, Dannon yogurt? Oh, fuck. That's even softer than the other little yogurt. Cho- little fruit at the bottom. So, uh-huh. so check this out. This is what we're going to do. Uh, hey, y'all. So listen. Savage we're AF, right? We're here every Tuesday. Uh, make sure you guys check us out. Follow us on all social media. Right. Savage AF Radio. That right. is our handle. Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, all of that. Make sure, Twitter. make sure you you can watch us right now. Savage AF yeah. is the Facebook page. On the Facebook. Go to page. Facebook right now. We are there live. You can see the face. I wore a good shirt today. Yeah, look took at a shirt. Shi- signed it up. <laughs> got got that clean for y'all. So that's he feeling good like about corrupt, myself. He looks like a corrupt accountant. He looks like, <laughs> right. he looks like, he like, he's all really smooth. I like that. For if you reason. let me do your accounting, it would be corrupt. Yeah, it'd be corrupt. So, like, it would I be corrupt. Like, he, like, he sure. came in and you, you offered some money back on the Wolf of Wall Street. Mm-hmm. Just came in and it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can make that happen for you. Um, so and, and, and as always, Shane always looks like a retired boxing trainer. I do look like. Who's I trying to like, get back into the, he's like, trying to start a I have a head CrossFit like a pumpkin, gym. so. I got a lot of plague space to hit. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I want to also make sure that I thank you guys. I double-checked it uh, again. We um, we appreciate you on the podcast version with Pop-Up. Um, comedy Pop-Up. Comedy Pop-Up. Shout out Comedy Pop-Up. We are still in the top 45 um, podcast, political slash comedy podcast, out of all the podcasts, which is... In America. America. Out of those, which is 500,000. And also, we're 521st. We went down two notches, but we're still 521st overall. So we want to thank you. Thank you. Uh, go to If you want to ever check it out, Chartable. Thank you guys for listening, and yeah. thank you guys for making us go to that level. But we want to get the top 20, then the top 10. So yeah. we need y'all to make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe mm-hmm. on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, all these different platforms. We're on iHeart. Make sure you, you, you get on there, you share it with your friends, 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 to make sure that they subscribe. That's very yeah, actually, important. Actually, fuck all, because Chartable is about iTunes, right? So like, right. or at least the stats we just gave. The so, stats we just gave you. So right. go to iTunes, man, and just, just, just subscribe, review, right. share that shit. You know, pass it around like that old college joint. Remember that shit? The old, <laughs> yeah, the the old college joint. that shit? Pass yeah. it around. Savage AF, roll it up, smoke it, baby. That's what we 45. Doing. 45, which is a, a really good number. And also our worst Except president. Except for if it's president. <laughs> also if our worst president, president then ever. If you're 45, then fuck you. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And anybody yeah. to follow him, fuck you. Savage AF, right here on yeah. Marcus King Presents Dash Comedy. Uh, Shang, how was your weekend, brother? My weekend, I uh, was at home. Just yeah. at home doing edibles. Yes. Lots and lots of edibles. Yes. And just taking the pills. Got, just got out of my second surgery. The surgery went well. So I am, uh, you know, I just didn't do nothing. Okay. <laughs> just, no, no, that's the doctor told me like you need to just fucking chill. So I chill, and then I'm gonna go back out and start doing shows. For those who don't know, Shang uh, always goes at a thousand miles per hour. 
So that's why it was hard to describe uh, what most would just call rest and recovery. Rest and recovery. He was like, I, uh, um, I just, I did nothing. I stayed <laughs> home. He did. And, uh, he didn't know what to call it. I didn't know what to call it. <laughs> he, uh, just, he was, just, I just stayed relax, home. Just relax. And, and, and I watched a lot of Netflix. I watched, uh, yo, man, I gotta get props, man. Eddie, I, I gotta get props, man. I liked, I liked. Dolomite is my name. I like Dolomite. And fucking up niggas is my game. Fucking I up liked it. I actually liked it. I thought it was gonna be corny. But it, Dolomite, the shit was I, right, and Eddie did a good job. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be like the the story of Rudy Ray Moore and his right. ascent to Dolomite, which was, and we were talking about this just before, it was right. actually very inspirational. I mean, just it was as, inspirational. as an artist or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, you could look at the movies and have whatever feelings about them, right? And, and right. you know, yeah, it, it wasn't high quality cinema, you know what I mean? It's not going to win an Oscar. What the fuck you trying to say? But, but... His perseverance through all the levels of, of the game good. and the things he did, uh, you know, was very inspiring. I, I literally was like, I had to go cut onions to have a reason to cry. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No, I was I, like, I, ah! I, I dug the show. Um, but, uh, yeah, I watched a bunch of that. I watched, I caught up on my I porn. Did, I did, though. Definitely caught up on my porn. All right, I did, yeah. keep that to yourself because you watch some weird yeah, shit. I, I know you do. Weird uh, shit. But the one, the Dolomite thing, though, that did have me, uh, that did have me cracking up because I realized that at some point there must have been some bum running around Hollywood like, that nigga stole my shit! <laughs> like, he did. And then we hear these things all the time, but it's like, he, he stole... The signified from... monkey was my shit! <laughs> yeah. And when I see him, I'm gonna beat that nigga's ass. He can't, he's dead now. So uh, I, I just feel like the main thing for me was, it, the watch it was the perseverance in what I'm doing. Right. It made me feel like, you know, fuck it, I'm doing something right. Yeah. And all the people that follow me, people come out to the shows, obviously I'm doing something right because yeah. motherfuckers is packed, so... Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm I'm no Michael Blackson. <laughs> You're too light for that. Yeah, that motherfucker is packing them in. But mother sucker. Mother That's all right. Sucker. That's all right. Everybody does nah, what they got, do. Everybody got you do what path. you do. That's everybody right. Everybody got their path. You I'm Rudy Ray Moore yourself to a, yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't to your be, own Dolomite yeah, status. Yeah, Dolomite my own way. Ten million dollars is yeah. made. So. But no, I I mean no, I chill, man. What you do this weekend? Uh, I did some Netflixing and, uh, you know, demand watching. Uh, I'm caught up in Wu-Tang world nowadays. Oh, man. So, I, you know, I've been watching the, the, the Hulu dude, The joint. dude that's playing uh, RZA or the old Dirty Bastard. Oh, yeah. I'm like, is that his son? That's his like, son. He's like killing Either that's his son or he's a... Uh, he's some like kind a, of splice DNA. That of us me. doppelganger shit. Yeah, no, he's killing Because that motherfucker is like, you know... But that's oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. He, yeah, he talked. He got it down. So. I also was catching up on. Uh, I never saw of Mike's and Men, the uh, Showtime series, yeah, Showtime it. docu series yeah. on, on uh, okay. the Woo. So yeah, just just get get back to my hip hop roots and shit. You know, split well, mad blunts and shit, dice games and shit. It's kind of hard to run them by shit. yourself. It's but like you know, a lot of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? The shit. Clocks and you shit. Know what you It'll know be what like blue and cream. You know what I'm saying? saying? People probably watching this going. Fuck. Yeah, if you're just so, tuning in and you're wondering why we're speaking Wu Tang mumble, that's because we're savage as fuck. And plus, we ain't nothing to fuck with. That's right. Hey yo, see what he did. See what, you I see did? what he did. All right, so right that's there. what we gonna do. I was gonna tell you first off. Um, again, we talk politics on here. We talk uh, a lot of shit, mm -hmm. and there's been so much shit. I've been gone for a little bit, and I'm gonna tell you right now. I was, you know, in the hospital watching CNN and MSNBC. These motherfuckers, these old uh, entrenched white folks have lost their fucking mind. Mm -hmm. They have lost their mind, at least on the Republican side. At least the Democrats have sh finally shown a spine. But well, they stunned. They probably think they have something to celebrate um, with, uh, you know, over the weekend, it was announced that uh, Trumpy Dumpty yeah. and all of his horses and all of his men were able to uh, take, down. take down and kill. Murder. The leader of ISIS, yeah. Al Baghdadi, yeah. is his name, and um, yeah, yeah. It's like one of those big. It's like one of those things, but it's it's really just just like smoke and mirrors, right? It's like, hey, look, I killed Baghdadi over here, fingering America down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just fingering America down here, baby. Watch this hand, though. Watch this hand. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's 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 be aware and conscious of that, America. That you know, although no, yeah. although it's important to you know take down these leaders and take out ISIS, it's not going to take out ISIS, right? Like ISIS no, is going to. There's three other cells they already that said, yeah, you may have got our boy, but real shit, we got we got other things popping. Paris, watch your ass. Hey man, listen, it, 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 that's what they Amer say. America is particularly good at this, taking out leaders when we need and want them to. And we don't need. And we and we really? often we often know really? that uh, yeah, uh, yeah uh, just we often know that. <laughs> Presidents, 
Well, sorry, we get phone. This popular <laughs> show, we get phone calls hey, in man, studio. I thought this shit was turned off. Uh, turned it off. My so son. listen, guys, we you know we we're really good as a country at destroying other nations' leaders and at will, seemingly, right? Well, so no, so no. so, but we've seen that like taking out Saddam didn't make any security, it and uh, you know taking out uh, Osama bin Laden, you know, but Barack Obama did that. Did, did, you know, they really do it. Uh, Al Qaeda, the ISIS. Well, I mean, what's the real? There's a few letters okay, in the name, but, different spelling is different, but, but it, the, the 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 thing is. We're just going to keep agitating these extremists in the area, but, no matter what. But so the, the way that Trump, the way that Trump described how he took him out, he he cried like a dog and he was whimpering and he was saying, "Oh, Trump, don't kill no, no, me! No. Trump, don't kill me!" All this shit, he just made up shit. And then he said, "Ah, oh, Trump, don't kill me!" And then the T Rex ran in. He just makes shit up. I would, I would, so, I would, I would honestly though expect him he, to, he uh, you know, shit. make make up that kind of stuff. Yeah, but make him sound tougher. What surprised me though was his description of our own forces in the seeming. Seeming lack of understanding of how U.S. special forces work. He's like, you know, these aren't the guys that go up and knock, knock on your door. Like, no, no shit, dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah I wouldn't but, expect our U.S. special forces to go hey, knock, way, knock. Is Al Baghdadi yeah, the leader yeah, yeah. of ISIS here? Hey, I know. Could he, he come is outside? Is the leader of ISIS here because we want to talk to him? And then he, second. and then he just described the violence like weird. He's like. They went through a, a, a big, beautiful hole in the wall. <laughs> like, what, something what are you wrong. doing? Selling bomb sites? Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's got a big, beautiful pre bombed hole. It's a beautiful hole. wall. He's in it's real lovely. estate mode. Like, he's like trying to sell. Like, and you know what? That wall, no Mexicans would have got through that wall. I mean, so let me tell you something. The bottom line is, I want to say this to all the people that's watching on, uh, we on Facebook, right? Live. We right are now. Facebook Live. On Savage Facebook AF Live. is the page. Uh, I want to say to all the people that after all the bullshit that came out, after all the investigations that just came out, and if you're still a Trump supporter, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to get hit by a car. Mm -hmm. And while you're in midair, mm. I want an eagle to fly down with a hard on. And I want the eagle to fuck you Talent. in your left earlobe. Mm. When That's you precision. fall on the ground, I want the car to run over you mm. because I really need that. Then after it runs over you, I want you to be smashed into a rapist den and all of them rape you. Mm, yeah. A rapist den. I think that's <laughs> called Congress. Okay. Congress. That's, that's pretty oh, much right. called. Oh, yeah. right. You know, what I'm saying right now is just like, what else do you need? They've had three different officials that have come in and actually fucking just... Blew him out the water with everything he said pertaining to Ukraine. Everything he said, they they said no, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. And then Giuliani with his fake ass, he looks like Count Chocula if he wasn't chocolate. And he got he got in it white and, chocolate. And actually, was, while he was doing it, he was trying to sell uh, different hotel sites back to Trump. So there's so much corruption going on. They see it, and his followers still go, I don't care. I'd rather vote for him than, I'd rather vote for a Russian, they said, than a Democrat. Well, that's, so that's what they do. That's so, why I want y'all to be uh, mouth -raving. So that's where we are with the uh, the impeachment at, at this point, right? Jump, jumping into that is uh, just a bunch of dissent from from Republicans, a bunch of un-American, Confederate, Confederate, toothless, redneck bullshit. Uh, they bitches. What was it on Friday, Thursday, whatever they, last week? They got a, gr a group of them, you know, they did they did straight up ghetto bum rush. They bum rush on the hearing, they demanding demanding presence in the hearing, even though they're fucking like forty seven Republicans and, and who are said, on the committee. Why are you doing that? Just come in. They're they're here. They're, you could you could just walk in. The doors were open. What the fuck are you talking about? And so and and then not only that, they did it irresponsibly, right? Like they just barged in there into a secure. It's called a skiff. Yeah. The, I think the S in there is for secure. Okay, so I think the security. Yeah, you're security. You're not supposed to have like yeah, cell phones. You're you're not supposed to have, have cell phones and your Apple Watch and none of that shit in there. Why? Because right. the high target communication devices for and foreign plus, entities, right? They're always trying to get into congressmen's and phones plus, and use them as a microphone. Plus, they said with the whistleblower that Trump has been trying to get pictures of him so he can put it on his Twitter so he can let people know which endangers the whistleblower. He's trying to actually out a whistleblower. That's Whoa. how crazy this man is. What is wrong? Let's get down to it. Let's well, this, this is, I mean, this is just what guilty people yeah. do. That's, I know, he's trying, to, he's trying, to, to, he's trying to distract us from every fact there is. That, cre yeah. Create. What is wrong? This is going for our white listeners. What's wrong with y'all? Our white listeners. That's for our white listeners. What's wrong with y'all? Why? What? 
what does it take for you to just say, you know what, this motherfucker's wrong, he got to go? How does he still have 38% well, yeah, I, I, of the population I'm gonna ask you, supporting this I'm going to ask you to be a little more specific than our white listeners because there are some white listeners who don't support Trump. Uh, okay. White viewers, right? So. Okay, the white <laughs> listeners that support Trump, what the fuck does he have to do since you want me to specify between white people? They oh. don't specify uh, pertaining to us. Well, and also you don't just need to do know, white white Trump statement. white Trump supporters either. Like yeah, Mexican any any Trump, Trump supporter, supporter. like yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the, like the anybody Kanye supporting West, Trump. Kanye West, whoever the fuck. We Did we know why it? white people are doing it because they white, white people. Cause they sticking together <laughs> till the end, James. Because they're being bred out. The end. They're being bred out. That's fucked up and true. That by twenty twenty eight by twenty twenty eight. The white population gonna be minorities. Don't scare them, Shane. And let's Stop. see if we treat you like you treated us. I'm gonna have a picnic and see how it is with your ass swinging from a tree. All right. That's well, a. Pretty I'll bring. The, I'll bring the chicken. <laughs> That's a pretty savage. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Got a great recipe from my yeah. grandma. And uh, so th- okay, so just back to the impeachment really quickly though, right? You going back so, to the impeachment? God damn it, well, man. We, we never left it, right? So uh, it's hot topic right now. Um, so, Hot topic. so I, I just, I love, <laughs> for lack of a better word, I love um, the sort of hypocrisy that's just brewing um, among, among the Republicans, which was already obvious to a lot of us right. who, who are in support of these things, right? But they, they are literally doing some of the most un-American things you can imagine to, to our, our country, right? Well, so like barging into the skiff that was right? one. With, with their cell phones, right? That's, that's like... That's like going to see your girlfriend while you've got while you're on the phone with your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you got you gotta secure that line. You gotta shore you that up before but, you can't. Okay, let me ask you this. Don't let that cross fade like that, okay? Pedro, let me ask you this. Okay, so when you see that, are you really surprised? I'm not surprised. No, are no. You, like, I, what I'm saying is I'm I am Jay News, are you surprised? Anybody here in this room? No, no, surprised? no, no. So what I'm saying is I am I'm hold on, hold on. Yeah. What I'm saying is Don't act like there ain't nobody behind here. Why the fuck y'all acting like there's a third wall? Fuck right. It. Fourth wall. They, they do call it the fourth one. Yeah, so... It, <laughs> no, no, but, but what I'm... right there. I, I saw, the no. right there. He's Shane, stay on topic. Focus. <laughs> Shiny object. He's right. right there. I can see you, motherfucker. Right. All right, go ahead. But nobody else can, so... Uh, God damn it! There you go. So, what it is, right, is, and you now you just completely distracted me from the fucking I topic. didn't distract you. <laughs> yes, you Look, did. man, all right, so, all right, I'll tell you what. A goddamn Since point. we're going to stick to the news, no, I the, got the it. No, so, no, 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 Where's Jay? Back, back to the show. Savage as fuck. Where we talk politics, right? Getting right. into impeachment. The Republicans are un-American as shit right now. So they right. bar- they barge into this. Skip. Non-patriotic. Uh, they're ignoring and, and 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 pressuring people to ignore subpoenas, right? So you had Charles Kupperman, who was supposed to come in. Supposed last to show week, up. Uh, yesterday, actually Monday, uh, <laughs> who then gets ridiculous and wants to sue Congress. For bringing him in on a lawful subpoena, right? He's not that the judge he has no already executive said, privilege now. The judge already had passed it and said that this impeachment is lawful. Uh, there is nothing unlawful about it, but yet the Republicans keep using it as a talking point. They want to make sure that they send that out there where it's like, hey, with the general public, this is unlawful. So even if they say it's lawful, we want you to know it's unlawful. That's what they're doing. It's basically, like mm-hmm. you said, it's distraction, but. The fact that, it, it, but the the fact that you that right now that they're not showing up for subpoenas, Congress finally said, okay, fuck that. You don't show up for your 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 court date. Guess what? You're in contempt. If you're in contempt, some of these people are gonna be put in jail. Yeah, flat I mean, out put in jail. You can't you, know? you can't. And then they just be ignore raped, subpoenas, especially with a broom. Especially you cannot ignore subpoenas, especially as a as a private citizen, right? Like, right. Uh, Copperman's a private citizen, so. He, he bitched out, didn't show up. But we do have, uh, what's his name, Vinderman today. Which is uh, who, heavy, heavy, heavy. He's the top expert on Ukraine, on, on the Security Council. Uh, a war veteran, mm-hmm. uh, got a Purple Heart, saved a uh, puppy from a tree at least three times in his life. At a lot of motherfuckers can't say that. Yeah. And uh, three times? How yeah. many puppies have been in trees? Usually it's who's cats. Throwing, who's throwing dogs in right. the trees? Who's throwing puppies in the trees? Russia. <laughs> we already know it's the Ukraine. That's right. That's and, right. I mean, and so I think that... So, so apparently there's, there's more damning 
testimony coming from today from Vinman right. today and you know he's being patriotic and doing his duty showing up for the subpoena and just telling it like it is and, and what's what's right. key about his testimony is that he is allegedly the other person who was on the line on the phone while President Trump was strong arming Ukraine and which made him feel he was like he's like oh this is not right and he actually went through the channels. But this dude is a straight shooter, straight shot. And they he already got 22 death threats mm -hmm. when he said he was coming forward. Yeah, You got to think how crazy the country's become where the person that's coming to try to do the right thing, they're like, nah, we got to, we got to take him out. But he was brave enough to do it. And a lot of the people that are speaking out on this shit are brave enough to come out and actually you know, go against this president as opposed to the other... 68 to 70 percent of Republicans that are not saying shit right. other than they're flipping themselves around and like, oh, well, you know what? Maybe Trump had a good reason for asking. They, they come up with whatever they can mm -hmm. to say that he's OK. I personally think that if the Democrats are like they're moving pretty fast, the Democrats come harder and harder. I think that right now he's going to be impeached before 2020, not the, the impeachment. Um, vote and everything's going to go through before 2020. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas <laughs> everywhere we, we go. All right, guys. We didn't pay for that song, so I don't think we can sing I much think, more. Are they going to hit us? <laughs> They're going to hit us. Santa, Santa Claus is coming down the chimney. Hey, guys, we're Savage AF. Right here, Marcus King presents Dash Marcus Comedy. King presents Dash Comedy. No, Dash guys. Comedy. Marcus King. El Rey. Uh, Wait, guys, we do have to take a, a quick break. Uh, when we come back yeah. from the break, man, we got. Uh, <laughs> The first, the first Me Too victim after Congress passed the Me Too law for within Congress, and it's it's just a shocker who it is. I gotta admit, wasn't didn't see this didn't, one you coming. You didn't see that coming. Mi Missouri, Missouri that. is doing a labia lockdown. Da -da -ding, ding, 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 ding. They've been trying to lock labias down for a long, long time. And there's an outbreak in Pakistan that is just gonna break your heart, guys. Stay with us. We're Savage AF. We'll be right back, y'all. Right back. Yeah. Black Pedro. Shang. Black Pedro. So Shang. On Black the break. Pedro. Shang. We still doing it. I know we doing it. It's all good. We still here. We, we still this here. Is what, this is a little BTS no. for y'all, which stands for behind I, the scenes. Okay? Behind the scenes. You're, you're this is what we, up, King, King, King. That's true. Hey, y'all, we back hey, at it right here. On? We Savage AF right here on Marcus King Presents Dash, Dash Comedy. Comedy. I'm Black Pedro. Yo, what's up? This is Shang. And make, again, oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I was going to say make sure you guys follow us. Follow at Comedian Shang. And make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And I wanted to say. Make sure to let people know I'm going to be in Richmond, Virginia at the Funny Bone Comedy Club this weekend. But myself, Black Pedro, and also another uh, part of the uh, Dash family, um, Howie Bell, are going to be in Georgia at the 707 Comedy Georgia. Lounge on the November. Uh, we're going to be no there November 29th. And then we're going to be in Columbus, uh, Georgia at the, um, it's called the Common Ground. We're going to be there on the 30th. Then we're going to be at Stand Up Live in Huntsville, Alabama. So if you get a chance, come out for that. Stand Up Live in Huntsville, Alabama, December 1st. So it's going to be myself, Pedro's going to be there featured, and we're going to have Renard Hirsch is going to be on the show. So make sure you guys come check us out for the live shows. we got a lot of live shows we're going to be doing. Also, we're going to do some more shows in Hollywood, a Savage AF show. We're going to be at the Hollywood Improv, the world-famous Hollywood Improv main stage um, myself, Black Pedro, Savage AF, bringing it to you live. So we're going to make sure that you know about the shows. We're going to give certain people that follow the shows passes for the shows. But you got to see this young motherfucker laugh live. You got to see him live. You got to see me live. Yeah, I, I, yeah shut yeah, up. Watch, watch me laugh. Come watch me laugh at myself. Watch him laugh at himself. <laughs> I, no, I find sure, myself so funny. <laughs> make sure you guys come out to the live shows and check us out for sure. That's what it is, y'all. Yeah. So, uh, welcome back. Savage AF. Right here, Marcus King presents Dash Comedy. Uh, coming off this break, man, you know, the, the Me Too era, hashtag Me Too, is, oh, is the no. thing, right? It's, uh, you touch me in a certain way. And in a lot of, in a lot of aspects like a of, our, of our society, right? Like, you got entertainers and sports figures and politicians who have fallen. And most of the Me Too movement is about men. 
being well, dickwads and pulling out their junk. There's been a few or men rubbing it on the thing, but we do since Congress passed uh, their own set of rules about you know fraternizing with staff members. Right. Uh, this weekend, um, Katie Hill becomes yes. a, becomes the first female to have to resign uh, in this post Me Too <laughs> era. But so. she was fucking the staff. She was she was doing the, she was doing the diddly do with one of her staffers. She was fucking one of the staff members. She's and in a, He complained. She's in he, a she's in a she's going through a divorce. Right. Uh, so it's not like a straight up affair or anything like that. But um, but it is inappropriate according to the newer newest rules of, of Congress that the, you can't you can't can't so put, you can't fuck your staffer. can't put it in your staffer can't take your staffer and God put it in damn, you. Damn, you can't okay? put your staff in your staffer. Can't put your staff Shit in has you. Changed. Can't put your staff in your staff. Can't but take your you staff staff and staff yourself with but, it. Uh, why did look what women women. Men have been getting away with this shit forever, doing all kind of creepy shit, yeah. walking up, pulling the pubic hairs out, putting them on the Coke can. If you go all the way back to that, Clarence, uh, Thomas. Clarence Thomas, if you go back to all of the sexual harassment men have done, why can't we let this one woman that got a little bit of dick on the side because she was going through some bad times with her divorce, why can't we let her slide? She was a good Congress. She's one of the up and coming Democrat stars, they thought, until she fucked a staff member. But I'm telling you right now, man, we need to let her slide, man. We already let some really good people go over some bullshit. No, you can't do that, bro. Come on, man. You got to play the game straight up, man. All right, well, look, uh, well, then, Katie. Because they got the rule. And since you since you ain't going to be working in them, but Katie holler at me. Yeah. Maybe we could uh, <laughs> make something happen. Shang's got your side dick right here. Side dick. And you Is can that keep what a job. man, like, so if you have a side piece, it, your side, would it be called a side dick? Yeah, like side if, dick. If, yeah, so you got your main dick. Mm -hmm. and you get your side dick. If you're a woman, you got a main dick or side dick. Okay, I didn't never. Yeah. So I've ladies. never been. A, have I? Have I ever been a side dick? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Feels the same when you bust. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're Savage AF right here. Marcus King presents Dash Comedy. I wasn't gonna put it that way. But. Well, speaking of of the ladies and busting, uh, Missouri. Yes. Or as I like to call it, misery. Yes. Is uh, they're they're busting down. down, 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 down they're down. doing they're doing the labia lockdown, and all free vaginas right. must go. Okay, um, so there's a current sort of uh, litigation battle, legal battle, battle over yeah. the very last, and not, this is not a joke, but this is absolutely the very last abortion clinic, or I shouldn't say abortion clinic. I'm gonna say Planned Parenthood facility. This oh. is the last Planned Parenthood facility. The last place you can get a legal abortion in the state of Missouri, and the state legislation is trying to close it. Well, we already do that. Missouri, Mississippi, Alabama, there's different places have been trying to cut, shut down all of Planned Parenthood. But Missouri really has been aggressive and closed down seven in a row. Yeah. So this is the last one. And so women are going to have to drive like five hours, six hours to deal with this shit. And I'm wondering, what is the big deal, Missouri? I want to know from people in Missouri that what watch the is show. The deal? You can make a comment if you want. What is the big deal? I mean, why do these old men want to control these women's bodies? Is what I what what is it that you were like? What is it about you that you just were like? I, I got to make sure that they do what I want them to do. You know, I think I think that they use their religious dogma, this Christianity, right. the Bible, Christianity, Christianity bullshit as as just a, a control mechanism. So they're right. gonna they're gonna reference the Bible and act like they're saving babies when really they don't care what happens to the child. Right. They don't care after about people born. that's alive now. They yeah. don't care about kids that are alive now, especially kids of color. They just want the power to control people. You right. Know? That's that's all it but is. But that's how so. religion has always been. That's why you it is a movie <laughs> called The Book of Eli where he was just like, it's just a book. No, it's a weapon. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's how he did it in the movie. No, it's a weapon. And then a little tear came down his face. Right. Thank you guys. Thank you, scene. That was thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stirring performance. Thank you. Huh. What did you think? That was amazing. What did you think? Yeah, did you think I, I, I would have booked you. I think I nailed it. I would have booked you. I would. I would have booked me too. Yeah. But no. It's so just, I think the religion always has used that to control people to tell them what to do. You got to think anal in certain places is illegal. It's. I'm not making that up. Yeah. Anal is illegal. Like you can't. Like Texas. Uh, oral <laughs> sex is illegal. You can't have a certain amount of dildos in a house. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, the comic Tom Rose was talking about that. And he said that, that in Arizona, 
there is a minimum. You have to have a two dildo minimum. You mean maximum? Maximum. I'm okay. Sorry. I was like, you ain't going to have <laughs> Make me have two <laughs> dildos. Gonna, I'm you ain't going to make me buy four more. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, I'm good. You have to, so it's like, and then and his, his question was, what if eight women live in the house? Mm. So now they got to share. Well, they have to share, which is disgusting. But I'm just But would make a great video. Oh <laughs> I'd watch. Oh, my God. Talk about two girls a cup in a hey, battery. Yo. No, I, I'm saying right now, though, if you look at how the, the different people that are against abortion... It's all religious based, but the bottom line is that's why a lot of people are are backing Trump because he's getting judges that will go against abortion in there and they're like powering them through. Definitely. Right now. That's why they wanted uh, Kavanaugh because Kavanaugh is, you know, he's, you know, pro life and he's a little bit crazy with it. And so I think that right now Missouri is doesn't understand women are gonna go crazy. Misery. Yeah, it's misery. I just don't understand. So apparently there have been some some failed abortions there at the clinic. Right. Uh, so that uh, you know, under the guise of that and sort of unsafe conditions, they want to they want to shut down this clinic. Right. But it's already like the last one. Like it's it's just so ridiculous. Um, to counter it or just to balance out the scales, Planned Parenthood is opening a new facility like 13 miles away in Illinois, uh, not too far away, right. just outside because this. This clinic, the last clinic in Missouri is in St. Louis. Um, so this clinic Which is would be a, like... a short hop and skip and jump. Yeah, this new clinic in Illinois right. would be like 13 miles away. But still, that, you know, that doesn't... And that only helps that, that one area of Missouri. But there's a whole state now, right. even with the current one open, that really legitimately doesn't have access to abortion and other health services. Again, I'd like to stress well, that Planned Parenthood facilities, which is why I want to make that distinction aren't strictly there to abort your little Jesus They're babies, okay? They teach people about different things to protect themselves sexually. It's about women's health. And women's general. health issues and coming to check in, pap smears, and on and on and on. The motherfuckers that, let's be real, the motherfuckers in Missouri and the motherfuckers that's in Congress that are against uh, women having the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do, we already know what it is. The religious right has a fucking stronghold on the political process. Yeah. And that's why they are like closing these places and they're making shit up. Well, the door was supposed to be red and the door was green, so we are gonna close it. They're making shit up. So I think that what women need to do, and I'm gonna point to all the women out there, women, you need to get madder, all you pro-life women, and you, uh, you pro-life women, you need to take a back seat, and the pro-choice women need to actually, because there's more pro-choice women than there is pro-life women, you need to really step up, and when it comes to voting in 2020, smash these motherfuckers to the ground. That's what you need to do. And I'm going to add on to that and just say that uh, not just women, but fellas. No, we, there you go. We need yeah. to step up too, right? We need to fight for our wives, our sisters, our daughters, right. futures, right? To not let these, you know, cracker ass crackers for... Did you, wait, wait, what? Cracker ass crackers? Yeah, for lack of a... Wow. Even, I don't even want a better term. We just term. lost I think, two more crackers. I think that's... We just... Two we more crumbs. Two more cr cr crumbs, right? We've just lost two more saltines right. that's not going to watch the show. But not just the ladies. Fellas, let's step up, too. Let's step up, too, yeah, guys, and, and really get out in those voting boxes. Because why, why, why do you really give a fuck, bro? Like, why do why, why, why you really give a fuck what a woman does with her body? Especially if it's not carrying your child or anything like that. So let's, right. let's grow the fuck up on but that you note. You know what, Chappelle, did you see the Chappelle special? We said, if you have the choice to have the baby, I have the choice not to pay for it. And I first off, that's totally fucked up, but funny, because uh, I feel like a lot of men don't see it like, well, hey, you know, it ain't got shit to do with me. It do got something to do with you. Absolutely. If you have a sister or a mother, or if you have a mother, if you don't have a mother, what the fuck, how were you born? Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. Bro, what first you of all, first of all, if you left, if you left your mayonnaise, yeah, in her sandwich, okay? Then you, if you are responsible for the toppings if you, and the flavor. you come out your helmet. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it starts there, bro. Wherever right. you leave your seed, whatever grows, you're responsible yeah, for it's, it. Either it's way, half right? you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's you know, part on it's you, It's half man. your DNA. If you get tricked into something, I don't know. She no, poke, I see, I've poke had, holes in the condom or something I've like had that. that happen. All right, that's a different situation. I've had that happen. And but, I, I, she was so mad, she got... I don't even care. Fuck it. The show's savage as fuck. It's, it is savage she as fuck. She poked holes and said that she wanted to have my child because um, she wanted our baby to have my eyes. 
There you go. And which is creepy right there, pet cemetery ass bitch. And I said it, you're a pet cemetery ass bitch. But then when I said, no, I mean, I'll be there for the kid, but I ain't going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, oh, I'm getting an abortion. So there are women that do crafty, oh, yeah, tricky yeah. ass shit and trap men and do shit like that. But, but even those women deserve those to women have an abortion they, when they want if to. If they want to have an abortion, like whatever not the fuck. an abortion. And they, they probably they, should. It's a heavy they sound show. Like, they sound like nut bat bitches. And and like, yeah, and I did, I did a joke about... There would be no discussion if men had to have get, we if we had to get the abortions instead. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be no discussion. Yeah. There'd be clinics everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, 7 Eleven, yeah, CVS, CVS, uh, Gas McDonald's. Station. Yeah, for sure. They would be they'd be snipping niggas mm -hmm. left and right. Yes, sir. Like they'd be scooping out babies of men left and right. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's the double standard with the uh, the way we treat women pertaining to society. But the main thing is this is what I feel like. I feel like women aren't being proactive enough and angry enough about the situation. Just like I feel like black people aren't being as proactive about stuff. We kind of get mad that. for we get mad for a couple of weeks, and then fades. I think that anger and that you you got to keep that going to until it's fixed. Oh, I mean, to be honest though, I think women have have, have been fighting for this thing for a long. I think that's why I was. Trying to add on and, and put the onus on more men right. to get involved in this issue too, because it, it's not just a women's issue. That so like, you know, black people need to get more active politically and and in our community. Right. But black people doing more about racism isn't going to solve racism, right? Like no, no. I, I believe that we need more white people to be involved and not be involved in black things, but. Like to, like I said Just a couple weeks ago, real. yeah, like white people, Keep it you, real. get rid of the Nazis. Like you need to worry about Nazis, you know what I'm saying? So right. like in that sense, racism is a white problem, right. but the way they need to address it is by nipping it in the bud, but, which is cracker ass cracker. cracker right? And it, let's, let's be honest about it. If you white and you're Jewish, they wasn't just mad at black people. They were saying Jews will not replace us with tiki torches, and they were threatening Jews too. Oh, they hate so everybody. The Jewish community, who you know, I understand that they have a lot of you know solidarity. You need to address it too because they're coming after you too. They after your ass. Speaking of tiki torches, yeah, that was a good segue. Man. LA's on fire. It's hey guys, burning up. This is the part of the show we like to call Black Pages Poppin'. So watch this. Watch me do this. Hey, it's your boy Black Pedro with another poppin' to let you know what's poppin'. And you know what's poppin' right now? Embers. <laughs> Embers in L.A. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what that was. That's, little, that's how it sounds when the, when the campfire is crackling. Except that campfire is called Brentwood. <laughs> okay? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, man. So I had a friend it's hit me up. Getty. Had a friend hit me up. Shout out to Jackie Bruce. She's going to come to your show in Richmond uh, this weekend. That's, that's the homie. Yes. That's she got me homie. started in comedy. Hit me up to check up on me, make sure I was all right during the fires, right. which I'm used to. People hit me up all the time. I get hit up all the time. Uh, but usually these fires are like off in some national forest 40, 50 miles away from actual L.A. They're right next to the freeway. This motherfucker is at the Getty Center off the 405 yeah. this time. Like, it's pretty damn For the people close. that don't know L.A. that are watching this stuff from other places, this is like having a fire like 10 minutes from the city. It, no, no, it, no, no, it's, it's it, in the it's city. In the it's city. pretty much in the city. And, like, and a lot of people called to check on me, and some people called to check. If I started the fire, fuck y'all. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. Okay? It was me. I didn't start that. <laughs> no, but check this out, right? So I want, what I wanted to get at in, in, in my pop-in here today was just, uh, just to kind of alert people to the differences in fires. Because California, for those who don't live out here, um, Fire is is a season. This is the only place where it's part of our weather, right? Like our song goes winter, up. spring, summer, or fire. You know what I mean? Like we just those are our seasons out here. Right. Every year, the whole fucking Southern California catches on fire. I don't know how it happens. Some Burns somebody up. somebody campfire, cigarette butt. I don't know what the hell happens. But every goddamn year, California catches on fire. It's fire season is what happens, right? Right. Like I said, it's usually way out. Now it's in the city. But even now, I just want to comfort everybody and let everybody know that Black Pedro, I'm actually too poor to be involved in a wildfire, right? Like, these wildfires around really, really like Brentwood is burning up right now. This Very is like, place. it's like Beverly Hills, Brentwood, Bel Air. These are neighborhoods. This is the 1%. 
right? And this is their neighborhood burning up right now, right? Because they're in the hills with the forest and the trees. Nah, bro, I'm in the city, okay? I live in the hood. So I don't, I don't have to worry about wildfires, right? There aren't enough trees around, not enough for it, no squirrels when Bambi's mama but, ain't gonna die. But Black right? Pedro, what about your empathy for the really rich people who are losing all their... Man, their fuck stuff. them! They got insurance, that's what I'm saying, what, and they have plenty of warning. What kind warning, of pop-up so. is this? No, all I'm this saying is, is strange. all oh I'm saying God. is, I just want people to realize that I don't live in wildfire, I don't live a wildfire life, okay? <laughs> I live a riot fire life, okay? Right, right. Those are the fires I need to worry about, a riot fire. So yes. when civil unrest and social injustice uh, injustice are, are breaking out in LA and, and Mexicans and black people are getting mad, then you call me and you say, Pedro, is your shit on fire, all right? Because that's where I live, in, in riot town. Like, riot fires yes. are what I worry about, yes. not wildfires. I worry about, I worry about uh, cops beating niggas' ass fires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those that's fires happen. Those that, that, like, that's the stuff that, that, that season... In 92, that season, yes. In 92, uh, LA had a big old riot fire season. Yes, so uh, I'm, I'm more concerned about the way the police are, are just shooting us through windows and while we're eating ice cream yeah, and I'm at, you know, I'm at a baptism. You're going to yeah. shoot at me at the baptism kind yeah, of so. shit? Don't worry. Don't worry about wildfires with Black Pedro. I'm yeah. fine. I live in the city. And so all the people checking on Black Pedro, he's here. Thank he's you. He's safe. We're good. I, I live fire. in the city too. And so, I, but I live like at the bottom of Hollywood Hills. So fire could get to me. It could. But by the time it got to me. I've already moved. You'd be in the hood. I'd be already in moved. Barbecue yeah. at Phillips. I'd be, yeah. So That's what we're doing. Only fire. You I'm know, I, thought, I heard I heard one rumor that uh, people thought it could have been started by the homeless people, which I would have just thought would have been so, so fulfilling and yeah. so just. <laughs> you know what I mean? The because homeless people say, you ain't going to give me a house. Yeah, because LA out. is doing everything it can to make everybody homeless. Like, they're charging like $8,000 a month for a closet. Yes, and very I, expensive here in LA. And you force people to live outside and in all kind of conditions, and then they gotta find some way to light their food up. And if one of those little embers found its way to the one percent's backyard and set all that shit on fire, it would just warm the cockles of my heart. Well, if the homeless people did it, which I think that would be brilliant. Brilliant. If, 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 I don't. I doubt if any homeless people are watching us right now. On, on Facebook Live. And if you are, you're a dope ass homeless you're person. Good, you're good at it. You're a good ass yeah. homeless person. You keep doing it. You're great. Like, How the fuck you watching us? All? Yeah, man, I got a cell phone. Yeah, though. bro. I'm homeless, but I ain't no fucking animal. I got Wi Fi out here. You know, I'm not. In like, these streets. Yeah, I mean, I still got, you know, I still got my fucking Facebook. I'm homeless, page. but I ain't savage. But yeah, fuck. I'm savage, but I ain't that savage. But I'm going to keep it real right now. If homeless people burnt the shit up, that would be the best shit ever. Oh, man. I'm, and I'm going to let you know right now. I know that I don't want anybody to die. That's a wildfire I can support. Yeah. <laughs> I, here at Savage AF, we support wildfires that are set by bums. For, against rich people. Against rich people. Yeah. But then once we become rich, then they're going to be setting our shit Leave up. Leave my shit up. No. I'm just going to live in the poor I'm neighborhood. Gonna live, I'm a, no, I'm going to live in the city. I'm going I'm to do like Walking Dead and just walk amongst the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> just just pick, take just a mask. Just put some dirt on your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smell like, like them. Well, just... Black Pedro's one of us. Walk amongst them, He's dog. He's one of us. Man of the people, y'all. Your stomach growling, so is mine. Then you get in your Porsche <laughs> and drive off. Skirt! <laughs>